There you go. Oh, now it is. Hi, welcome to the Wabi Sabi Ramen Taste Test. Hello. This is Whitney, I'm Josh. We've been talking about doing this for months and we finally get to do it. Yes, and then it's, it's an excuse to get paid to eat at work. Uh, we're trying to find good ramen, high quality stuff with interesting toppings and interesting, interesting inserts. That one looks like it's got tempura or something. This one says it's tempura soba. I've seen cheese in them before. I've seen mayonnaise in them before. I know, I always thought this one came with a, a rice cake because it yeah. shows it. That's what I'm I think. not sure. <laughs> this, oh, this one shows it too. See, in the background. I know. I wonder if that's an it. Well, we'll find out. We're going to find out. We've been hunting around on the websites for a long time to bring you some real imported Asian ramen. We've got a big selection in right now, and these are some of the better looking ones. So we're going to try them and see. If they're any good, see which one's better. Yeah, we were a little spooked. Some contain like actual little mussels and clams. We and have so. freeze dried shellfish ones right now. We've got mm -hmm. ones with spicy chickens holding bombs and, and spraying fire out of their mouths. I'm not the one to try that one. I, I, I find everything spicy. I watched someone buy <laughs> two of those the other day when I was working, so someone likes the look of those, but <laughs> it's not us. I'd like to say that I'm a I'm a good judge for this because they've probably eaten more top ramen than humanly possible. And we like this stuff because it's a little bit yeah. more high end than top yeah. ramen. That's one of the main uh, hopes with it is we'll get some mm -hmm. some unique things. Even top ramen I hear has three or four salt packets in it and everything now too. Yeah. So. All right, here comes the big drum roll. The Susan Whitney's. Uh, okay. Let's see what's in there. Ooh. Oh, oh, it does have it. Does it does have a thing. Okay. Can show I that on camera. Show to the audience. Can we? Here, can we? <laughs> this is we're declare victory. This, this is yeah. a tiny. There we go. Candy. It looks like it has carrots or something. Let's hope so. It smells good. I mean, it's got two. That's the fun thing about the top ramen that is imported because. It comes with so many different little packets, like it actually comes with vegetables, and I like when it comes with like the stock broth yeah. versus the powder. You get oil, you get vegetables, yeah. seasoning, you know, sometimes a sauce in addition to the oil. This one says it is oriental noodles, definitely has a tofu packet. Mine says it's tempura, Japanese soba tempura, and it also Ooh. has some interesting rice cakey kind of thing. This one comes in plastic to make sure. And then the noodles are kind of a dark color, which is indicative of a soba noodle. So, oh, that sounds good. And then I only have one one spice yeah. packet. You got what, two? I think I have two. She's got two, so. One feels like the gel and one feels like some, some flakes. I so, totally didn't read what we're supposed to do on I this. don't tend to follow the directions. I'm not going to lie. No. Fold lid back to indicated arrows. Empty into the cup. Fill it with boiling water. Close this, lid and let stand for three minutes. This one's definitely fish flavored. You can smell the fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, this one's gonna be fish flavored. Uh, smells decent though. I'm excited. You normally these ones with the fancy packets usually turn out pretty well. Okay. I've had ones. When you get the ones with the mayonnaise in them, those are the really good ones. Oh, mayonnaise on ramen, you oh think is going to be disgusting, but it's actually that sounds pretty tasty. Amazing. I went to the new, if you're local, or maybe you're from Sweden. Bangladesh. <laughs> we get people from Bangladesh on our website. I didn't know that. There's like a new little ramen place over near here. It's like Miyagi. Yeah. And, oh man, you've got to order like 10 eggs in it. That's the only way to eat it is with a bunch of eggs. I, I like it with the eggs. Mm -hmm. They have good steamed buns too. I like oh, their steamed buns. Oh, not sponsored at all. <laughs> <It's just like laughs> we do have, what are we? We have that ramen deal that we sell them soda sometimes. So maybe there's one. Let me yeah. smell this one. Let's see what this one smells like. Does That's, it smell like fish? I'm so bad. I have the No, worst this one nose. doesn't smell like fishy. This one smells like miso. Mm -hmm. I'd call that a miso. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I think our water's ready too. This should be interesting. Yeah, yeah let's, let's throw them on there. As you can see, we have Totoro to keep us company and make sure we do it right. It's a rainy day too, so we brought out rainy day Totoro. Rainy day Totoro. <laughs> Our Totoro cave is done. Stop on by to see a real, real life Totoro cave full of animals and plants. Um, we work very hard on it. Whitney's done a lot of work. Our managers have done a lot of work, and we're very proud of it. Yeah. So now we're gonna let them sit. Yeah. 
Yeah, now we sit here and stare at the camera for four <laughs> minutes. <laughs> well, let me ask you, what's the best ramen you've had around the world? The thing that started me in on wanting to have good ramen was mm -hmm. uh, being at a hotel at the Taipei airport. And I was flying to Hong Kong and I was connecting in Whoa. Taipei, and which is in Taiwan. And didn't want to deal with a fancy restaurant. The hotel at a fancy restaurant and was really kind of, I think, running late or something. And just they had a huge, you know, a bowl of ramen even bigger than this, like taller than this, oh. sitting in the hotel room. And, or maybe bought it next door at the, they had a weird museum, like an Air Force museum with bad English that was fun. Oh, that's and funny. I'm reading all this bad English. And either way, I ended up with this huge bowl of ramen. I said, well, I, you know, I have time for the fancy restaurant. Yeah. So I'm going to do something fun. And, uh, Ate it and it was one of these ones that had mayonnaise and cheese and like probably oh chicken gosh. and just everything in it and it was so good and you're like this is better than something you buy at a restaurant in the states so that is so epic oh, how I about you it. where's your best ramen been? i'd say my ramen uh my need for ramen started when i went and visited my friend over in florida who i met here at wabi sabi nice. wabi sabi is where you make friends <laughs> But um, I went and visited her after she moved there, and I had ramen at Tokyo Disney, oh. and it was life-changing. And so ever since then, I think I ate ramen once more in Florida, and it was really good, and it came with the egg and everything, and I'm on a ramen hunt. So yeah, it makes me hungry looking. even thinking about it. Oh, I know, right? Looking at the packages yeah. always makes me hungry, just yeah. eating them. <laughs> me too. That's the hard thing about... Like, working here, it's partially, like, yes, I want all the anime merchandise because it's adorable, but also I want all the food <laughs> because I like trying weird food. I went to, like, an Asian market over the weekend, and they had um, preserved duck eggs, Ooh. which I've seen on, like, Good Mythical Morning, and they're kind of spooky looking because they're, like, old. They're aged eggs. And they're like black. Are these the thousand year eggs or whatever they call them? So, the century yeah, eggs? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it makes me nervous. I, I try it though. I try it any kind of. The rice of food. cakes are getting soft. Oh, I yeah. Should I grab the camera and do like close ups? Oh, yeah. Or put that's it back? A good idea. I'm going to grab the camera. I don't know. Was